guys, this is Mark from dsgenie.com. Um, I'm just doing a quick explanation on the Add Items feature in DSGenie. And we changed it to a little more guided. It pulls the UPC and all that stuff automatically now. So if you go into DSGenie, you guys who have seen this before, just hit Add Items. As you know, usually what we do is we take, we basically take items from other sellers and sell it for lower price, right? So I'm not going to go through how to find the item. I'm just going to show you exactly how to add the item. So what you're going to need is the eBay link of the item you're going to list and the source link where you're going to buy it from. So in this case, we have Walmart for $39.97 and eBay, this dude is selling it for $53.95. So on the first page of add items, you should have Okay, my internet is slow as hell, so you're going to have to wait. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let me just get the calculator out so when we, we get the suggested price, you can see how much money you'll make. So the first, you need the, the eBay URL, so that's the first link you're going to need. And then the external URL. That is the Walmart or eBay. I mean Walmart, Amazon, Target, Wayfair, Overstock, um, Higgy Needle. All those, all those sites we track, as well as Academy. So you put in the two links and then hit Save. What's supposed to happen is it will pull the images from the eBay link. If there are no watermarks, you can use it. If there are. You'll have to delete the ones that it pulls. It'll also pull the UPC, the MPN, the brand, and all that stuff from the external link. And that is why we change the process, because this is a more guided process that we had before. Again, you may have to give us a little time, because my internet is pretty slow. OK, so. It gives us a, a, a suggested price of fifty twenty-five. Now, what that is, we want to sell it for less, and basically want to make sure that we make at least ten percent of the cost price, a minimum of ten percent of the cost price, right? So, if you put the cost price in here, this is the calculator. Store item cost thirty-nine ninety-seven. The buy it now price that we set we sell was fifty twenty-five. We would make four bucks, so that's that's what this thing is saying. Um, but if you notice, the guy who was selling it was selling it for fifty three ninety five. You have the option to raise the price a little bit, as long as it is still lower than this guy's price, obviously. So, I personally, I'm st if I raise it to fifty one ninety seven, I'll still beat his price by two bucks, right? So let me show you what that what the profit will be. So let's say I lower it. And that, this is before discounts with gift cards and all that good stuff. So you're making five bucks. So, it's, so now it's a little more than 10% of the, of the selling price. So that's good. So let's save that. Then you have to add a description. Um, you just go back to the, to the source of the item, copy the description, and then paste it over there. I'm just going to do this quickly. You, sh you should pull everything, but let me just take this just to show you real quick. So you put the description in. If you notice, the store price, the UPC brand, and the MPM was all automatically pulled from the, the, the Walmart link. So you hit Save. This should take us to the, the, the following page um, to view the images. On that page, you'll have an option of deleting the images if they have watermarks and adding new ones or using the images that you already have and adding even more images and then saving. So just give it a second until we get to the next page. As I said, it's a little different than what we had before, but it's a lot more guided. Um, and after this, soon I'll be posting another video on how to track your own items because that is another another um, process that's a lot easier. It's basically a one-page process.
Hopefully I'll delete some of this stuff because it's taking too long. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. So it went to the page with the images. I'm waiting for the images to load. Okay, it doesn't look like the images are going to load. Let me refresh this and hopefully it'll load. Again, this is some of the words I've decided to live in a third world country. Okay, okay, so the images are loaded. Um, there are no watermarks, so we're going to use the images that we have here to remove it. We just hit remove and then hit and then hit save. But right now, you would hit remove and then add another link, add a uh, image here. But all those are fine. And then you hit save. And once that is done, your listing should be done, and it would show up in in your suggested items and then you just hit add to add to eBay account. So just give it another second. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. So right the item blah blah. Right, so it's saved. So if you go back to home you would see the item in your your suggested your suggested a items just hit add ebay account and everything is good so and it would be listed to ebay account so that is pretty much how you use the add item feature now hopefully it explains everything if you have any questions um comment on the video shoot me a direct message subscribe to the video and like the video all right thanks for your your five minutes and hopefully this will help you guys sell more bye